Hi, uh, my name is Jenny Roan. I'm a research group leader at University College London, and I'm also a professional writer. And I have three areas of interest relevant to this workshop. The first is that I'm really passionate about reducing the use of stiltifyingly formal and boring language in the public discourse about science. Instead, using more creative strategies to breathe life into and humanize scientific discoveries and the people who make them. Secondly, I've been interested in many years in the use of fiction to explore science and the culture of scientists. I found it in edit the webzine lablet.com to highlight the intersection between fiction and science, and I published three novels about scientists. Finally, it's a well-known fact that popular science writing is dominated by male authors, like overwhelmingly. And I'd love for this to change. So those are my interests in this workshop. And I'm really glad you've all come uh, to, to learn more about it. OK, next. Um, hi, everyone. I'm Buzz Baum, and I'm a um, biologist working in Cambridge um, in the UK. And why am I here? <laughs> Good question. Um, I've always, you know, the reason I did science is, in a way, one of my first loves was literature and art. And I think reading things like Primo Levi's periodic table, that 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 idea of a life scientific um, where you bridge, you know, where, where science is a living, breathing thing which you live is something that really drove me into science. And while I spend my whole day and nights often writing as a scientist, often you know, grants and papers and stuff, um, it was only when I really started to try my hand at writing, um, let's say, scientific fiction that uh, I really appreciate the joy of writing and the pleasure of trying to sort of ex put into words that smell when you open the yeast incubator and it billows over you. Um, that I really appreciated that there's much more to science than just the hard facts. Um, and so I really would love to be part of such a workshop and I'm thrilled to be um, able to join this one as organized and I would, I'm really looking forward to welcoming many other people to the workshop and to, to talking to them about their passions and what they love to write about and I've already done that with Mark and Rico and I went for a walk and we talked about each other's writing and it was such a pleasure so to expand that and include Jenny and many other new writers from across the world and both men and women and <laughs> other genders anybody who of it the discussion I think that will be very exciting and I'm thrilled to be part of this event. Mark. Hello. I couldn't have put it bad. My, my co-organizers have put it much better than I will be able to do. Um, but I will try to add to it, which is I'm Mark Miodovnik. I'm a, I'm a material scientist uh, and I've worked uh, with biologists like Buzz and, and Rico uh, and, and, you know, cross paths with Jenny in her lab. And I just love, I love talking to biologists <laughs> and I love understanding biology from an engineering perspective. And, and, and a lot of the overlap, a lot of my insight into that and our, our ability to do work together has come from the fact that we have to try and translate each other's disciplines into other languages. And I think actually the thing I've discovered writing a couple of books is that the only way you get better at that is actually trying to communicate with the public. Because as soon as you do that, you realize, okay, <laughs> actually communicating with the public and communicating with other people from other disciplines, that, there's actually something quite similar to that. And, and if you want to connect up disciplines in, in, in science, and I think that is really where we need to be to solve any of the big problems are facing us in the 21st century, which uh, I think, you know, all, you know, these are complex problems about the environment and about our place in the world, about life, what is life, uh, whether buildings will become animate, which is, which is one of my research areas. Um, you need to reach out to other disciplines and the public, and that through writing, for that public, you, you get much better at that. Um, so it's not just it's not just about uh, the, the, the culture of science and, and 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 understanding how it all works and, and communicating with each other. It's also it makes you a better scientist. I really, absolutely guarantee that that is true. <laughs> so uh, that's all I want to say. Thank you, Mark. Okay, so maybe I'll. Uh, so a little bit about the structure of the workshop um, and the process of application. So if I could have the first slide, Jane. Um, Jane? Ah, good. Um, 
so yes, the, the workshop's going to be held in uh, Whiston House, um, beautiful location in the country, and we'll all be there together, all the participants, and also a series of tutors who have accepted, who range from journalism to various types of popular science writing. Um, and um, so they'll be joining as well. So, you, so there'll be the opportunity to interact with all of these people. If I can have the next slide. Um, so this is the draft program. The workshop has quite a practical uh, orientation. Um, so they'll be writing and critiquing of people's essays uh, throughout the workshop. So it's spread over four days. We begin on the Sunday afternoon uh, with a topic discussion that will be led by uh, the tutors uh, to have a general discussion about topics such as, you know, how do you, how do you structure your story and, and issues like that. Then we'll discuss an exemplar essay. These are going to be essays such as Primo Levi's uh, essays um, sent out to uh, the participants before the workshop to, to read. And then uh, we'll discuss them collectively at the workshop, how, you know, what made, what makes um, an essay work or, you know, maybe what the, what the faults in an essay are. And then in uh, the, the end of the afternoon session, we'll have feedback on essays. So before the workshop, Everyone's going to be asked, or the participants are going to be asked to write um, an essay of a few thousand words on a popular science or a, or, or, or it could be literary science um, essay. Um, and that will then be distributed to the other participants and also the tutors um, so that when, uh, when the participants arrive, we can discuss and give feedback to everybody on their essays. We'll split into different groups to make this manageable. And so everyone will both feedback, critique on the essays that they've received and also hear, hear the constructive comments of um, what people think about their essays. Then the next day, the Monday, um, Monday morning, there'll be a writing period when based on the input of the previous day, um, people will start to write their, uh, the participants start to write an essay or they might be sort of polishing an essay, it's up to them. Um, during the workshop. So the, the morning's completely writing time. And then in the afternoon, there's going to be, again, similar to the previous day, a topic discussion, a discussion of an, a different exemplar essay, and more feedback on the essays that you wrote before, before the workshop. On the Tuesday, uh, we again have the morning writing time. In the afternoon, we're hoping to get some agents, some have already agreed, to come and talk to us about you know, how you get published, the sort of logistics of getting uh, published and then there's a reading time which is when people will read the essays that have been written during uh, the workshop during the past couple of days um, uh, with a view to critiquing them and then on the final morning there'll be feedback and critique of those essays um, and we'll sort of wrap up and discuss what we've learned so that's the basic uh, program is there's a lot of practical component and uh, the real emphasis is on discussion and interaction uh, could have the next slide, Jane. So this tells you, shows you the timeline, of the application process. So we're now at the beginning of that, the 24th of May, the launch event. Um, end of the, by the end of June, we hope to, uh, that will, I think it's the workshop application deadline. By that time, you'll, have, we'll need to, uh, you'll uh, need to submit a CV, a two page CV, uh, a short statement saying why you want to join the workshop. Uh, an example of a published or unpublished piece, I'll come back to that in a minute, uh, of less than a thousand words. Um, so that's going to be uh, received. Then by the 30th of September, we hopefully arrived at our applica application outcome. So you'll be informed whether you've um, been accepted on the, on the workshop. Uh, the 31st of March next year um, will be the deadline for your submitting your essay, your 3,500 word limit max essay that's going to be critiqued by the other 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 participants in the workshop on the 29th of april uh, you'll receive the essays from the other participants five essays you'll only be looking at five because we're going to kind of divide it up um, and you'll also receive the exemplar essays that we're going to discuss and then in june we'll have the workshop covid permitting of course um, right so then if i could have the next slide this tells you a little bit about the um, the essay, There's some guidelines for the uh, published uh, or unpublished piece that you'll be submitting with your application. This These guidelines are gonna go onto the website. Um, uh, Jane may tell us whether they're already there. 
Um, so this is really kind of a checklist, really. Uh, have you, in, in constructing your essay, have you drawn the readers in with the first sentence and paragraph? That's, uh, in other words, how, how good is the beginning in terms of, you know, just, just captivating your audience? Um, there's the issue of significance. Have you persuaded readers that your topic matters? Um, clarity and understanding. Have you avoided jargon and defined the te all technical terms that cannot be avoided? Uh, do you have a compelling narrative? Have you, have you employed pacing, suspense, storytelling elements to engage the reader? And finally, literary style. Have you checked your grammar and employed literary touches like simile, metaphor and analogy? So that's the kind of some guidelines um, on, on this submitted piece um, in advance uh, as part of your application. Uh, and the final slide is just um, to tell you a little bit, though, so that summarize that the workshop is to nurture new voices in science writing, including popular science, social implications of science, and science-related fiction. Uh, as Jenny said, um, you know, th there is a much broader agenda than simply popular science. You might, you will also be considering science-related fiction. Um, just to say the workshop is not for improving grant writing, textbook writing or papers. So if that's the sort of workshop you're envisaging, this is not for you. Um, OK, I think if we can go back to our uh, previous view, Jane, um, and I think now we can open it up to questions and and um, I'll shoot, I'll try and assuming there are some questions, um, we'll go, we'll try and answer them. 